Welcome to SeaWorld! Okay, well, we're here at the Sky Tower. We're getting ready to hop aboard and take a trip on up so that we can get a bird's eye view of the construction for Infinity Falls, the latest new ride coming this summer. We are aboard the Sky Tower right now, which goes almost 400 feet in the air. It's the tallest observation tower in the state of Florida. We're gonna get a good look at Infinity Falls and what the construction's coming along like. On our right, straight ahead there, is Infinity well, Falls. Just about 300 due to open and from here you can any see week now, really. Miles. Not really. <laughs> any As month now. Rotates. It's due to open Keep in the summer here. For the lush tropical oasis it's pushed right into the back the of the park there. That's it's gonna be awesome. Cove, it features where you can snorkel the tallest and exotic fish. drop of any beach. river raft ride in the world, they say. Dolphins. And it's a good family raft ride. Hey, we're about to ride the wildest ride in the open seas. It's Mako. You can see the sign behind us. There it is, up there. And we are wearing our fanny packs or waist packs because it's the best way to ride the roller coasters here at SeaWorld without having to get a locker every time. Yep. Woohoo! We'll see you soon. It's going to be fun. Grab some tachos. Yep, we're gonna check out the tachos and we'll let you know how they are. Yay, it's time for some noms. We decided to stop at a kiosk over near the shark area of the park to try something that caught our eye and that would be the tachos. We had the tachos over at Toy Story Land in Disney's Hollywood Studios and we gave those a try. Those are really, really delicious. So we thought we'd give these a try to compare the taste. These tachos have tater tots, cheddar cheese, and some sour cream and chili. You could get salsa or jalapenos, but we opted to not go for that today. And also you could get chicken or barbecue pork. Right. As your choice of meat. Right behind Xena, on your right as you're viewing the video, you can see the kiosks along the way here. How are they, Xena? They're pretty good. The, <laughs> the tater tots are nice and crunchy. And when we ordered them, you could tell everything was freshly made. And he was very generous with the chili, I must say. And the cheese, just everything. And this was about nine bucks. Nine fifty-eight after tax, I believe. Eight ninety-nine yep. plus Uncle Sam and, and Samantha. Plenty if you want to share it with a pal. Xena is ready for the opening of Infinity Falls this summer. Oh, it's so close. How close is it? Pretty it's close. pretty close. Right there, there's the ride car. We're gonna head over to that area right now and check out the Whitewater shop. We're here in Whitewater Supply and they have some of the typical theme park gift souvenir type things, but we did find a few unique items. For example, SeaWorld has started pin trading and they have a special pin for an Infinity Falls. So if you wanna start your pin collection at SeaWorld, this might be a fun addition or start to your collection. We have these awesome hats in here too in Whitewater Supply. Um, they are $28 though, so they're several dollars more than the normal SeaWorld hats. But they are really nice hats. They're very unique to the Infinity Falls area over here. They're from a company called United by Blue. Check this out. These are a brand called Dumpster Diver. As they say, they're made from recycled plastic. One, two, three steps. Shred, spin, and wear. And what you get are these awesome shirts. They're $23.99. 
recycled plastic. Very nice. You ought to come check this out. Yeah, and with the sloths too. Yeah, but don't be too slow about it. <laughs> <laughs> we had another fun, productive day at SeaWorld. We hope you liked it. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon.